Hey there, got a quick one for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a reusable spline mesh so you can set up walkways, fences, awnings, whatever you need. So the way we'll do this is we'll right click and create a blueprint class of an actor called whatever you need it called. I'm going to call it test spline underscore BP. I'm going to double click and open it up and in the components I'm going to add a spline component. Not the spline mesh, but the spline. Now in the construction script, I'm going to grab that spline, and I want to get the number of spline points. This will get all the spline points inside that spline, as the name implies. From the number of spline points, we're going to subtract 2, because we don't want the first and the last one, and I will show you at the end what this looks like. But we're going to need a for loop, not a for each, but a for loop. And we'll plug the subtract 2 into the last index and leaving the first index as 0. So for each or for every spline point in our loop, we want to get the if I could spell location and tangent. And we're going to control C and control V to duplicate this because this will define our start point and our end point for every item in our loop. So we're going to take this so for the item in the loop that we're on, this will be the start point, and to get the end point, we'll take that index and we'll add 1 to it. Then we'll plug that into the point index on the bottom one and plug the target into the spline. Now for every spline point, we want to add spline mesh component. But we don't want to define that mesh component in the details panel. What we can do is we can set static mesh and then we can right click new mesh and promote that to a variable called splined object. Now for that variable, if we click this little eyeball right here, it makes it exposed in the editor and we can set each spline blueprint to be a different splined object. Now different spline meshes may have different up vectors, so to get around that, we will also set forward axis. And you guessed it, we'll right click promote that to a variable called forward axis. And we'll click that little eyeball on that one too. Now after we have set the static mesh and set the forward axis, we want to attach component to component. Because we're creating a spline mesh component and we have a spline component, we want to attach the spline mesh component to the spline. After that, we want to set locate. Nope, set start and end. If it doesn't pop up, just click that context sensitive. Set start and end right there. Oh, target is spline mesh component. That's why. All right, so drag from your spline mesh component all the way to the target. And now from these, we will get our start and end point. So just hook them up right in line. Just like that. And those are open, and now we're done. So if we drag this out, let's say we need a fence here. I'm going to drag this up because my terrain is not even right here, at least. So now you can just drag it around, make yourself a nice little fence. But oh no, what about a walkway? to go in between it. Let's just duplicate that and I'll set this to a different mesh just like that. And now if we go back I can just duplicate this again. Now you got a nice little fenced walkway and you can add raises or dips or whatever you like. You can use it for like if I had an awning Oh, if you're curious as to why my transform widget keeps snapping into line with the way it is, it's because I've clicked this little thing. I'm in local uh, transform. But now you can use it for anything you like. Walls, fences, uh, awnings, gutters, borders, whatever you like. Oh, and uh, at the the reason we're subtracting too is because if you subtract nothing from it, when we come out here, you'll see that it kind of has this little double 
up at the very end. It's more noticeable with things like uh, like this. That looks like crap. Subtracting one doesn't get rid of it, but subtracting two does. And now if you look over here, it's gotten rid of that on the end of that also. So yeah, there you go. Reusable spline meshes. Go ahead and decorate your levels because curvature and little lifts and things like that. Or if you like to like, well, I don't know how to rotate. But yeah, so if you like that, just there you go. All right. See you all later. Bye.